I was quite amazed and shocked and scared at the same time because I have never really seen these kind of place. I think in general, Hong Kong is like more like conservative. I do believe like sex is something that should happen after marriage. So I don't really think that's a good thing to do like that. I've probably been to Amsterdam like, who knows, 12 times now. And I think I walked through it as a young backpacker, 20 year old and I didn't like it, felt I was uncomfortable. And then, so I never went back. And then just now, I mean, it's daytime, but I just wandered through it and was like, okay, now, now what do I think? And I was like, yeah, I still don't like it. No, because I don't want it to become like a widespread thing. People's ideas about sex are already really skewed as it is. But in fact, here it's quite different because uh, the ladies do that in front of the public and in France it's hidden and it's more like people are not really respectful here. I think people are more respectful and this is the difference. But yeah, I don't think it's right. But. I mean, on the one hand, prostitution is definitely like the oldest profession out there. So, you know, if you were to legalize it and have, I guess, like mandatory checkups and that sort of thing, it would protect the women that are already in that field. So I do support, I guess, having regulations, but at the same time, do you really want to be supporting something that, um, I don't know, may or may not be what like the women actually want to be doing? I don't know, I think I'm very back and forth on the topic.